The S in Geismic. Safe home. You produce a safe home. Whether you're living by yourself, living with a partner, or in a partner arrangement beyond monogamy, um, you are creating a safe home simply by being faithful and wanting to be faithful and, and doing it, doing that instead of acting on your, your mammon carnal desires it, just because you have them. Um, the yeah, I'm just playing that back on another video because I want to make sure I remember what the S stands for. A safe home is a result of ethical love. Um, if you watched the video on this playlist before this one, you understand that you don't have sexual relations just because it feels good or you don't act on your feelings. If you're by yourself, if, you're, if your family unit consists of solo, it consists of yourself, you can date people. You know, if you want to um, get a partner, if you want to get married or get have a relationship with someone or someone's, if you're poly, you will find, you will seek out people that you want to um, be partnered with and produce your family unit or your home unit regardless whether you have children or not, regardless how you have the children. In other words, you meet someone or someone's. You, uh, you mate after you've been dating. You uh, take one or, or more with um, as your mates or your partners after you've dated them. Or... If you don't want to be with a partner, you live by yourself. You live alone. And um, as a result, you have a safe home. And once you get that family unit, which means solo or partner or partners, and you just keep the ethical love and you uh, keep the intimacy within that boundary, within that home or that family unit, again, regardless whether you have children or not, by that unit, by that union. If you do that, the result will be a safe home. And if you feel okay with that, and you're honest about it, even if, you, if there comes a time in your life or a point where you're not okay anymore with it, you communicate with your partners or partner. If you're not okay being single, you can get partners, but don't just hook up and don't mess around. If you want to live a peaceful life, if you're by yourself, you're going to be celibate or you're going to have self-sex. I'm probably the only code of universe. I'm probably the only code or if you will, church, if you will, I'm using that term loosely that supports, uh, self-sex. Um, even the 12-step program, uh, Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous, they frown on masturbation or self-sex. Maybe because many of, of the members are addicted to uh, masturbation. So I'm not saying, uh, you know, do it all the time any more than I, than I would say uh, have sex with your partner or partners all the time. If you live alone and you have self-sex, you still have to go to work or school. You still have to have your life. You still have to have your friends and your family, if you have friends and family. You know what I mean. So, um, if you have a family unit, whether it's solo, whether it's a partner, whether it's partners, with or without children, you're not going to cheat. You're going to practice intimacy within the unit and keep it boundaried and keep it within the unit. You're not going to cheat. You're not going to go out on go out on them. You're not going to go out behind their back. You're not going to even date anyone else behind their back. You're going to that's your family unit, that's your home. That's your safe home. Your partners in turn will not have to worry about that. They won't have to pick up signs that you're cheating on them. They won't have to um worry about it about something uh, breaking up behind their back or on the spur of the moment. They will know that 
if something is wrong, you will tell them, you will let them know, and you will either go and you'll, you'll get some help or whatever, you'll, you'll break up the unit, not disrupt it. You might even improve the, the family unit if you're honest with yourselves and each other. So, um, a safe home is a result of ethical love.